Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyText. Today I'll be reviewing what I found to be a perfect solution for editing, annotating, securing and generally transforming your PDF documents to meet your different needs and usage scenarios. This application is called PDF Element by Wondershare. In the past, I had used Adobe Acrobat Pro to perform some of these operations, but the Acrobat Pro comes at a much higher cost compared to the PDF Element. A conservative comparison would be that the Acrobat Pro costs about three times more than the PDF Element, and that is if you are going for just the annual subscription. If you are going for the perpetual license of the PDF Element, which allows you to use the application indefinitely, like forever, then it becomes infinitely cheaper than the Acrobat Pro. And with my experience using both applications, I can tell you right away that the PDF element provides me all the features and functionalities I need to fully control my PDF documents. From functionalities like editing texts and images, to creating fillable PDF forms, converting from PDF to other file formats, batch processing, compression, passwording and encryption, merging files into one PDF, splitting a PDF into multiple files. This comes in handy if you have a long book you want to separate into chapters. And then you have the OCR feature, that's optical character recognition. It allows you to extract full texts from images. The list goes on and on. Now, this application works on both Windows and Mac. You just need to select your preferred version from the download page. Now, not minding how advanced most of these features are, the PDF element offers them in a surprisingly simplified fashion, making them very easy to use. I'll be demonstrating some of these features in a bit. There's a trial version if you want to test it out. However, the trial version would always have a watermark on it. So if you are curious how well this application can handle your PDF documents, then you can fully try out the features. And if it does serve you right, then you can purchase a license and get rid of the watermarks. Now, because iSkySoft is sponsoring this video, they are offering you, the viewers, a 50% discount on the perpetual license of the PDF element. You can find the link from where you can get this 50% discount down in the video description. And now without further ado, let's jump right in and try out some of the features of the PDF element. Okay, so first off is the installation, which is purely typical. The link in the description will take you to a page like this. Here, click on the free download button at the top right corner to download the installation files. I think it's able to detect your operating system, whether Mac or Windows, so it should download the right installation files for your computer. After downloading, simply run by double clicking, hit yes on the user account control. Here, hit install and just wait for the installation to complete. After installing, you can click on this Start Now button and in a moment, you should have a page like this pop up. Now, this is what the PDF Element homepage looks like. And in case you are wondering, there is no difference between the installation of the trial version and the full version. To get the full features of this application and remove watermarks on your edited documents, simply sign in with the credentials associated with the license you purchased and your subscription will be activated automatically. From here, you can see how simplified the overall layout is. You have your recent file area, which shows your recently opened documents. You can open a new file using this open file button. And on the right side, you have these key features, edit PDF, create PDF, convert PDF, batch process, combine PDF, and PDF templates. Obviously, the application does much more than just these key operations. Most of the other functions you might not see on the home page are either grouped under these key functions or just accessible from other parts of the application. To keep this video from being too long, I will focus mainly on these key functions and then run through other functions I found to be equally very useful. Generally speaking, this application is designed with an everyday user in mind. Most of the features I've come to appreciate were really very intuitive to use. There was almost no need to search up on how to use any of these features. The instructions are usually very clear and concise. However, if you do need some help, you have several possible support channels under the help menu that can help get you in the right direction. With that said, the first feature on the homepage here is the Edit PDF feature. This feature allows you to add, remove, cut, copy, paste, and perform other editing functions on your PDF document. With this, you are also able to add images and other objects like clickable buttons and fillable fields to your PDF documents. In all, this Edit PDF section obviously handles most of the functionalities you need to modify the content of your PDF documents. So as soon as you click on it, it will ask you to select the PDF file you would want to edit. You can just double click the file to open it and then you can start editing right away. 
A quick way to set the entire document in editing mode would be to click on this edit text and image object on the top left corner. This immediately turns your PDF document into what seems like a word file, so basically everything becomes ready to be edited, both texts and images alike. With the text, you don't have to worry about trying to figure out the font style or size or anything like that. As soon as you click on the text area, it automatically starts using the font style in that particular area of the document. You can resize the text fields as you wish, change font style if you like, pretty much like how you edit your MS Word documents. To show other editing functions, you can just click on the edit tab and here you have all these other functions like adding images, adding texts and adding a clickable link and so on. Here I will add a Christmas light to this image to make it more Christmas like. So I click on the add image icon, go to where my image file is located and double click to open it up. Here I will simply drag to the preferred area and then make other adjustments to fit the design. Next, you have the add link feature. This allows you to add clickable links to your PDF document so that your readers can directly click and get to the desired web page. Now, this is different from just adding a URL to your PDF document. With this feature, you can select a particular area on the document and embed a URL link behind the area. This becomes very useful if you have some long URLs you don't want appearing in front of your document and yet you want your readers to be able to click through to them. And then you have the crop feature, you have the watermark feature, background editing, header and footer, and base numbering. Under the comment tab, you have a bunch of tools to help you annotate your PDF documents. So you can highlight, strike through, underline, and all these other tools. You can also add some shapes to the document. You can add comments if, for instance, you are proofreading or you want to add some notes without writing over the text. You can add text box. Highlight an entire area. Type over an area using the typewriter feature. And when you make some mistakes you wish to correct, you can use the Ctrl Z and Ctrl Y to undo and redo respectively. And now let's take a quick look at the other features on the home page. To go back to the home page at any point in time, simply click on this home icon on the top left corner and you will be back to your home page. Now this doesn't close your current works. As you can see, all the open documents will remain open even when you click on the home button. You have them nicely arranged in these tabs according to the order you open them. You can also use this little plus button to open more documents. Okay, so back to the home page. The next feature here is the create PDF feature. This allows you to create a PDF document from a wide range of other file formats like Excel, Word, PowerPoint, images, etc. So when you click on this, it asks you to select the documents you want to work with. You can open multiple documents at the same time if you want and then start editing. Back to the home page to the right, you have the convert PDF feature. This enables you to convert your PDF documents to other file formats in a very neat and editable fashion. So pretty much the opposite of the previous function. So you won't lose your layout, your formatting or your tables. Here, let me convert this document to a Word file. So I just open it. The default format is already docx. However, you can click on the drop down to choose from a bunch of other formats. There are other advanced settings, which I wouldn't want to tamper with at the moment. I will just go ahead and save this with the default settings. 
And now when I go back to my folder, I have the exact file in Word format. With that, I can continue to edit in Microsoft Word. Back to the home page, you have the batch process feature. This allows you to perform bulk operations on several PDF documents at the same time. So functions like PDF conversion, data extraction, data encryption, watermarking, and all those kinds of functions. And then you have the combined PDF feature. This does exactly what the name implies and even more. So first, it allows you to select multiple PDF documents and combine them either in full or just specific pages into one single PDF document. Here, we'll just select two random documents and combine some random pages from them. Second, it allows you to separate a single PDF document into multiple files. So for that, you simply open the document you want to separate. Here, I want to just extract the day one material from this really long book. So I just know the pages where the day one starts and ends. Then go back to the home page and open the document using the combined PDF feature. Under the page range, I will use the drop down to select the pages option. Then here I will put the page range for day one and hit next. It immediately extracts the day one material and then opens it in a new tab. Here I can use the save as option to save the file to my desired location. Also when you go to your desktop you will have this folder named PDF element 7. In there you have the combined folder which holds your combined files. From here you can copy and rename your files accordingly. And finally, you have this really awesome collection of PDF templates, all free for you to use. I assume that they must have carefully selected all these templates, so you can expect that these templates would be more professional than most of the random free templates you can get online. And if you are into buying premium document templates online, then this feature alone what's your investment. There are hundreds of them. Here you have them grouped in these different categories, and each category has other subcategories to help narrow down your search even further. When you find a suitable template, simply click on it. It should open up a preview of the template. Then click on this little download icon on the top right corner to download the template. As soon as it opens up, you can go to the top menu and click on edit to start editing the document right away. Before I wrap up, there's one more feature I would like to demonstrate. That's the OCR feature. OCR is short for optical character recognition. This basically allows you to extract text from an image file. So here I have a picture I took with my phone from a laptop screen. I will open it up in PDF element. Now as soon as it opens, I will have this perform OCR button on the top here. I will click on that. Just ignore this. Now if this is your first time using the OCR feature, it will ask you to download the OCR element. Simply click to download and wait for the download to complete. After downloading, the OCR will start to extract the raw text from your image file. Here you get to choose if you want it as a searchable text image or as an editable text. I want raw text, so I will choose editable text. You can change language and other settings if you like. I will just go with the defaults and hit OK. With that, the OCR will extract raw text from my image file. Now this could take a while depending on the size of your file. Afterwards, you can then copy the extracted text to your desired location. Again, most of the features in this application are really simplified and provide you enough information on how to use them, so it's fairly easy to figure them out. Here, for instance, on the Protect tab, pointing to this padlock icon just informs you that it applies password to encrypt the PDF file. And when you click on it, it opens up the password security dialog box where you can add the password and encryption scheme you want to use to protect your document. Same goes for nearly all the other features. And that is it for this review. Again, there are tons of features and functionalities I probably didn't even mention. I would leave a link to additional information about this application down in the video description.
Again, iSkySoft is offering a 50% discount on the perpetual license of the PDF element for those who would like to have full access to all these awesome features and remove watermark from their documents. Link to that will be in the video description. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for updates on future tech reviews and other tech tutorials on the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Thank you.